Yeah, sir. No, no. So here we are in Kingston, it's the uh, Isle de Wolf rally, and there's a little bit of footage uh, before this from uh, last night's uh, kind of initial get-together on Wolf Island, and this is downtown Kingston. They've got a kind of a flea market, farmer's market going on across the street, and here is uh, Morrison's restaurant. I'm told it's famous, maybe not world famous, but famous in Kingston. And it was promised to be a greasy spoon, and it is. And here's a small sampling of the scooters that have showed up here, including, uh, including this one with uh, Molly the dog. And you'll remember this particular Vespa from the Gentleman's Ride. There's footage of that in last year's uh, Gentleman's Ride. Uh, so I invite you to check that out. I might put a link to it. And here's a very, very famous scooter. This is uh, Serenity. And it's uh, Stephanie Yu's GTS. She's got a new motor in it, but uh, I think she's over, on the frame, she's over 70,000 miles. If you check out over here, you see so, so we're going to go on a nice long ride, a couple of nice long rides. And as you can see, this is mostly a two-stroke vintage crew. And, uh, you know, the trick is to ride way behind or ride in front of these two-stroke scooters because otherwise it's like mowing a million lawns. She's really good natured. She is. She is, that's why I'm married. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Peter Sanderson, not much a, uh, not not a hog for celebrity. Are you excited? <laughs> I am. I got rid of my F700. Oh. Oh. Last two Thursdays ago, I had an ad. So I'm riding, all of a sudden it goes, oh, it doesn't want to start. Did your spark plug just come right out? It kicked it right out. 
I don't want that anymore. So but how does it do that with the threads? Temperamental. That's, that's beyond that, temperamental. That's, that's usually when somebody that drives a Lambretta said, because it's so powerful. <laughs> it just spit the spark plug right that's out. Right. You know, everyone from Toronto. Thank you. Okay, so uh, we're going to start with uh, my favorite award, the best shitbox. Uh, this was hand selected by members of the Shitbox Scooter Club. Actually, the person that has this bike rode it all the way out to Wapoos and back, and that is Paul with the 100 Black Sport. <laughs> my favorite award, it's the Rally Asshole. <laughs> usually, 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 <laughs> usually uh, this goes to somebody who uh, crashes or has the police called on us or whatever. Uh, this year, uh, nobody misbehaved that bad, so we decided to give it to the first person that uh, broke down on the ride. <laughs> and uh, so the asshole goes to Derek Godfrey. <laughs> Second place goes to Chris Russo. Okay, so our People's Choice Award was hotly contested. Uh, it's a very, very close race. Uh, I will tell you that uh, the runner-up in third was the uh, the matte black Lambretta from Fred. Second place was uh, Warren and Molly sidecar rig. But way out in front, the People's Choice Award was JF's Troll. Yeah. Hey, my brother won't take the runner up award. Uh, this is going to be farthest traveled on a vintage bike, uh, but we want to recognize two people here tonight that are very serious scooters that ride an infinite amount of miles and do some really crazy trips, and they drove all the way from Boston, so, so we, we got you guys a little something, uh, so uh, Stephanie and Annika, come on up. Now, 
the time that I set, uh, I was doing 120 kilometers an hour at one point. In your car. I, on my scooter. I stopped for a couple of minutes, I looked out at the water, I drove back. So if you win this, it's a total fluke. Uh, it's nothing to do with skill. Uh, so the, win the person who came the closest and they were off by uh, 40 seconds was Norm from Ottawa Valley. Thanks everybody for coming. Uh, we hope to see you again next year. And um, maybe again in your city too. We'll see you soon. That's it for the Isle de Wolf Moto Rally or Scooter Rally uh, here in Kingston. It was a wonderful time. Hopefully my, uh, my videos will do justice to it. And now it's time to head home. And in order to do that, I've got to secure my gear on my uh, Vespa 300. And I'll show you how uh, using wrap ties makes that uh, really, really simple, very, very secure. And I had promised you three methods. This is uh, method number three. So I'm going to take the mic off and, and uh, you'll see how, just how quickly those uh, wrap ties uh, uh, work to secure the load. All right, here we go. And there you have it, uh, one load very, very well secured and no loose ends. And so that's it, I'm on my way back to Toronto. See you there. That's it for another fun-filled episode of Life on Two Wheels. Come back to me soon. I'll have an interview that I recorded with Stephanie Yu at the Isle Wolf Rally. And uh, don't forget to visit the, the blog where you'll find the touring guide, the gear guide, and so much more. See you next time on Life on Two Wheels.